Let me ask you a question. It's not a trick question. Just leave your hands up. It's, it's, it's rhetorical. Don't answer. <laughs> are, are you sure you've been born again? Yeah. Are you sure you've been born again? Okay, I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you sure you've been born again? Well, touch somebody. And tell them, say, well, then what's wrong with you then? That's what's happening to you tonight. The light's coming on. The light's coming on. The light bulb is coming on. The light bulb is coming on. You already got it. You just don't know what you got. Oh, shout with him. Shout the resurrected ones. Shout like you've been raised from the dead. Shout like you're a child of the Most High God. Shout like we are the body. So, I got to let you go because you got to come back in the morning. Oh, this is just the start. I told you, you got to get through resurrection to get to ascension. If you can't handle resurrection, don't you come up in here. Because you sure ain't going to be able to handle ascension. Here's the duality. It's because seeing him is seeing you. This is the switch. This, this is where we're moving into in the body of Christ. Heaven is saying, I thank you. I, I thank you. Thank you for worshiping me and praising me. And thank you for loving on me and honoring me. I, thank you. But Jesus says, I didn't come just to be celebrated. I came to be duplicated. I didn't do this so that you could just clap for me. I didn't need it. I didn't lose it. You did. And there has to be a believer walk the planet that demonstrates a level of resurrection life. If you have been born again, that nature has come back into your spirit and we're going to learn how to walk in it for the rest of the weekend put your hand on your see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power in love as we sing holy, 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 again, to see you high and lifted up, shining, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power, yeah, as we sing holy, holy, holy. This is what the Father is praying, so I pray over you that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened. That you may know what happened to you. And that you not stop until you search the length, the width, the depth, and the height. Until you begin to go into deeper dimensions and more revelation. Oh God, open our eyes. Open our eyes. Now, Father, I declare this word planted in them will not be stolen. And so, Spirit of the living God, take us deeper tomorrow. We receive it. I want you to touch somebody beside you and, and tell them, say, you've been resurrected. You've been resurrected. You've been resurrected. That's what happened to you. You got resurrected. Your spirit got resurrected. Your spirit got resurrected. 
That's why Jesus went to the cross so that your spirit could be unlocked. Send the back of the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship in the spirit. Just, just turn your spirit loose right now. Oh, that you may know, that you may know, that you may know, that you may know that you were raised with him from the dead. It's not just a figure of speech. No, you have entered into his resurrection. It happened to you. Ayade so tabakasto. For the Spirit of the Lord would say unto you this is the awakening in which I have sent to the earth. And every awakening is to crescendo to this awakening. For the ultimate awakening is for you to awaken to who I have formed you to be. And tonight I am stirring. I am stirring you out of your sleep. Not as one that was lethargic, but as one that was not knowing what lieth in them. So when I awaken you tonight, I'm awakening what lieth in you. You will no longer sleep spiritually. Your spirit will no longer sleep. I quicken your spirit when I sent my son. Now stir up that life that is in you. Say not that, oh Lord, oh Lord, I just need you, I need you, I need you. The Lord says, yes, but I need you, I need you, I need you. And I need you to know what I've already done. For many are asking me for what I've already given you. And the Lord says tonight, you will no longer ask for what I've already given you. You will simply delve into the depths of my wisdom, my revelation, my peace, my joy. For what you need is already in you, saith the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, say awake, awake, awake. Awake, awake, awake. That that is lying dormant in me. Awake, 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 awake. Come on, awake. 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 Oh, okay, come, 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 Peter. Let me get in. Did you hear what the Lord just said? He said, some of us are asleep. Not because like you're lazy or you in slumber. No, you're asleep because you don't know what lies in you. Which means there are things in you you've never asked to arise. You've never sought for that wisdom of God that's in you. Some of you don't know what it's like to have the joy of the Lord. But the joy of the Lord is in you, not your joy. The joy of the Lord. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is in your spirit. Did you hear what I said? The joy of the Lord is in your spirit. Hallelujah. That means you can't be depressed. You can't have fear and anxiety. The joy is in there. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. Oh, shall wake up. <laughs> 